Our school is the uh, School of Health and Social Work, and within that, social work is pretty explanatory. We, we do programs that lead to uh, uh, students having eligibility to register as a, as a social work. The health area is much bigger and includes the allied health professions, which includes physiotherapy, paramedics, diagnostic radiography, radiotherapy, and physiotherapy. And then we have the nursing areas. Now, nursing programs are divided into a number of fields, and we've got learning disabilities, we've got mental health, we've got children's nursing, we've got adult nursing, and we've got primary care nursing. Well, we have a, a wide range of facilities, and because the, the professions, although they're health professions, they, their needs are quite different. So on the one hand, we've got, we've got functioning uh, diagnostic radiography labs, you know, where the students can practice their positioning. Of course, they can't x-ray one another, but they do x-ray phantoms and, and do tests. And the same within physiotherapy. We have physiotherapy labs uh, where the students do a lot of work on themselves. There's very, very practically um, orientated the physiotherapy courses. And we have a number of laboratories uh, which the nurses use. They use it for manual handling and, and for, you know, a whole range of procedures that they're likely to find find in practice. Now our main focus with our students is to get them to a position when they come to graduation that they are eligible to apply for registration with either the Health and Care Professions Council or the Nursing and Midwifery Council. That really gives them a license to practice. Without that they cannot work as a professional in those areas. We're looking clearly for their academic background and we're looking at their qualification to see whether they can really benefit from doing the course. Uh, we certainly have a widening a access policy and we want to really value add to the students who come to us but we're also looking for a really enthusiasm in the subjects. We would expect them to have done some you know considerable research if they for example want to apply for you know for, for child nursing well we'd want them to know a little bit about that we'd like them to make a visit to hospital we'd like them to talk to to various people and the same with the allied health professions we are expecting them to have you know basically to have done some research to be fully aware of what they're coming into